up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, so here's raging ally Aquinta, perennial top 10 contender type, had a main event against Donald Cerrone that didn't go his way. There was a lot of good in that fight for Al, mm -hmm. but candidly, they thought they were going to be able to break Donald Cerrone on the feet, and they were unable to do so. They weren't able to do it, and he was not able to make the necessary adjustments. But I believe in Ray Longo. I believe in Matt Serra, and the next time we see ally Aquinta, the problems that he had in that fight will sure be fixed. They know that with ally Aquinta, you have a guy that has the heart, he has the ability to fix everything, and he will address that when he makes his octagon return. And if you're looking to get $100,000 over asking for your house on Long Island, raising out your Raging guy. Out Realty. <laughs> Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Wong Kong, New York, presenting the challenger, Raging Al Iaquinta! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Cannoneer. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? So well, what a championship outing it was for him the last time around. A win by knockout. And that really set this division on fire. A lot of people are paying attention to this guy right now. He is sort of creeping into the mainstream Conor McGregor style a little bit. We'll see if he can follow up that knockout. The body will see if he can follow up. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, 
looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Big punch land on the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Let's get going now. Big he land. They continue to exchange. Breathe and relax, man. Breathe and relax. Look out for him. Skip into that leg. And he landed the right hand there. To avoid the right. Big kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta get out of those positions where he's being. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really truly be working the entire time you guys are in front of Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, you heard him bad with a jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He blocks the punch. Big kick lands. Just missed with the left there. to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion.